Sometimes the base size of our stock hair pieces aren't what the client wants and maybe they can't wait for a custom made order. But this doesn't need to be a problem because what we can do is take one of our stock hair pieces and cut it down to the size that the client wants. First of all, we need a pair of new and very sharp scissors. These scissors should only be used for cutting bases. We also need a pencil and some tape. First, you need to take the tape and measure out the size that the client wants and mark those points with the pencil. And you need to do this both widthways and lengthways. Then you can join up the marks you've made with a pencil to make a line. So you can take the scissors and carefully, very carefully cut along the line because you have to make sure you don't cut any of the hairs. If you do, you'll be left with pieces of short hair around the hairline and it won't look very natural. At New Times Hair, we have 10 stock hair pieces that come in a base size of 8 by 10 inches. And they are the HS1, the HS1V, the HS7, the HS15+, Plus, the HS25V, the INS, and the Icon. These seven, they can be cut freely without any restrictions, but the Q6, the HS27, and the HS27 Plus. For these three, you need to take a couple of things into consideration before the base size is cut. For the Q6, you need to make sure that the base size is not too small, otherwise you will just be left with French lace. You want the base to be cut along the PU. For the HS27 and the HS27 Plus, Make sure you cut along the PU and not the patches of fine mono because mono on the edge of a base will fray. So if you're interested in any of our stock products, then you can find a link in this video's short description.